Hey guys, it's Bethany. It's just me today. The girls are upstairs playing and Bob's at work and it has been a minute since I've vlogged. Today is Monday, January 27th and the last time I vlogged was over a month ago on Christmas morning. So a lot's been going on. A lot of not vlogging, a lot of just hanging out. Um, we did do some things. I'll see if I can find pictures because we really, I don't even know if I took pictures. We went to the Perot Museum one last time before our subscription ran out. We went to the zoo at least once, maybe twice. We got a, we got a zoo membership, some more zoo vlogs to come. Um, we also did zoo lights. So we've done a few things. We took a couple movies, um, but just really taking it easy. Coming into the new year, we started back to school a couple of weeks ago. Getting back into our routine. Co-op started, last Friday was orientation, so this Friday is going to be our first week of classes, and I'm teaching two classes that I'm both excited and a little nervous about because I don't have everything ironed out that I'm going to do exactly. I have a pretty rough outline that we're going in with, so there's four kids in my older micro class, the, the 8 to 10 year olds. And two of them, I have two boys and two girls, and the boys are just bouncing off the walls, excited about it. The girls are like, okay, yeah, it's cool, it's fine. But the boys are like, oh, are we gonna talk about tardigrades? And I was like, we're gonna find tardigrades. And they're just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it was so cute, but like, now I feel like the pressure's on that I have to like really make this a really cool and exciting experience for them. I do have a better microscope on the way. Um, I have it, it goes up to like 2000, uh, I think so. But we'll see how it goes. I'll keep you updated. Um, in the meantime, what this whole, the whole purpose of this vlog today is just to chat, to check in, talk about what we've been doing. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on my paint by numbers. I really enjoy these, okay? This is my fourth one that I've done since, um, probably like, the beginning of December, middle of December before Christmas, you know, I took a break. Not, that's like taking a break with Christmas too. Um, but it's just so relaxing. I usually do it at night after the girls go to bed. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get going and talk while I do it too. The purpose of this vlog really was to, is to catch up and chat um, while I work on my paint by numbers. Um, but I, like a lot of us who live in the Northern Hemisphere, I struggle a lot with seasonal depression or the winter blues what if you will in addition to my regular depression i also get seasonal depression and it's very festive um, but all jokes aside um i do go to therapy um, i've been in therapy as an adult now for two and a half years um and i i'm i used to go every week and we're back on every two weeks now um, we were going to go to one every once a month and I decided that I have some stuff that I want to check in with a little bit more frequently just that I'm working on with myself. Um, I think that it's really cool about one thing that my generation has done, I feel like, I feel like we can take credit for this, is really just normalizing therapy and normalizing that everyone has mental health issues and you don't have to wait until you're in a mental health crisis to seek out therapy. It's totally like acceptable and okay for it to just be like a part of your like well-being like you know you go get a checkup um you know some people need you know ongoing therapy just to kind of help keep their mental health in check and i do think it's really cool that we are more like that now a lot of us are and i certainly benefit from it have been but i do feel like as far as mental health goes as far as seasonal depression goes um, I do think that these paint my numbers have been helpful and I'll put in some pictures of my other ones. I'm in the process of bippity boppity bestifying my office and so it's very, it's really Disney and so I'll put in some pictures of what I've been doing to work on that. Um, I am still working on getting my travel planning business off the ground. I have not planned any trips yet, um, but I am still doing that so if you're interested I'll put my uh, contact information below. I know a lot of people are starting to think about those summer and spring break. Definitely spring break is coming up real fast, but definitely thinking about summer and even, you know, like fall holiday plans already. So if you are considering a Disney vacation, I'll put that information down below in the description box and then I'll also put it on the screen for you real quick. My email and um, if you have my phone number already, you can just go ahead and call me or if you know somebody that has my phone number, you can just ask them. Um, I just don't really want to put my phone number right here on the internet for 
everyone. Uh, so we've been inside a lot. The weather has been garbage. And also, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry if the vibes are off, but like this is just how I am right now. Like I'm just not, not really a ball of sunshine right now. Bob's is out of town right now. He, well, he's still in town right now, but he's gonna not come home before his flight tonight, so he'll be out of town tonight. Um, so that's a bummer. He's going to Houston, and I was kind of bummed because I was like, we could have gone, but he's flying, and he had already booked his flight, so next time we'll definitely try, because I, I do like Houston. It's a fun time, um, and really I just like traveling and like getting a little bit of a change of scenery, um, and that's another thing. We don't have any trips uh, planned. I don't think we have any upcoming trips planned. We were gonna we were gonna try to go to, with him to Fayetteville this past weekend. He had a work trip at Fayetteville, and we were gonna go to the basketball game and check that out. But it was also the same day as, as co-op orientation, so I couldn't miss out on that, um, obviously. So we didn't go, but hopefully we can get a trip going soon. Um, I know. After Houston, I think his next trip is to Kansas City, and we're not going on that one either, because again, he's gonna fly. Um, but maybe, maybe sometime soon we can go somewhere. Oh, and I, when I'm doing this, I like to turn on the fireplace on the TV. <laughs> I don't have a fireplace here, but I turn off. It's, it comes with our TV, like our TV, it's like a free channels or whatever. The, they have like some nature ones and they have a fireplace one. So I turn on that and then I turn on some lo-fi, maybe some Disney lo-fi. I recently found out if you're a Swifty, that there's Taylor Swift lo-fi. There's like all the lo-fis and it's the most relaxing thing to listen. I love lo-fi. So I've been doing that just to kind of chill and relax. Um, I think I talked to Haley about my, Haley's my therapist, shout out Haley. <laughs> um, was, you know, I was talking to her about like when I'm in a funk like this. It's very easy for me, I feel like once I get into a routine, once I get going with something, once I get started, it's very easy for me to stay with it and stay in that rhythm. But I feel like my activation energy for you like chemistry nerds out there, um, the energy to actually get me to do anything is higher than your average person. So I feel like um, a lot of times just like with basic care, doing my skincare is something that like relaxes me, makes me feel better, but a lot of times when I get in these funks, I just almost don't have the energy or motivation if you've struggled with depression or you know what I mean, um, where you just don't feel like doing it. And so I was telling her that and I was like, you know, um, and then I know it makes me feel worse and da 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 and she's like, well what could we do, could you do like, can you condense it, could you do like a little bit, could you do one thing, like if you feel like you couldn't do anything, could you just pick one part of it and do it. Um, and so I've been kind of trying to apply that to not just skincare, but like other aspects of my life, like if cleaning the house feels like too big, could I just pick one thing, like could I just vacuum or could I just pick one room focus on that right now you know what I'm saying because that's just very much how my personality has always been is very like all or nothing like what's the point um, of doing anything if we're not gonna do it all and do it all right now you know? <laughs> um, but there is a lot of value in just doing a little bit and it, it can doing just that little bit can propel you forward to do a little bit more and a little bit more and feel a little bit better and a little bit better and so that's kind of what I'm hanging on to right now. Also, we have passed winter solstice, y'all, and we are getting, the days are getting longer, slowly but surely. Daylight savings time is still a couple months away. And yeah, spring is a couple months away, but we're getting there. It's, you know, it's a journey. <laughs> we're on a journey together. Oh, so I mentioned there was no video last week. Um, because I'm all caught up on my holiday content and and I wanted to take a break and we did and that's been nice. I think that we've all enjoyed it. Um, I am ready to get back because I do really like filming. I especially it's a it's a really fun ho hobby for me. I really enjoy editing. It's something to do to do um, by myself a little me time. 
I mean, so I like having I like having stuff ready to go to edit, and I do I do like vlogging and like filming too, and the girl the girls really enjoy it. Um, but ultimately, I'm really excited to have the videos to look back on to when the girls are little. Like obviously, probably not gonna watch this one back when I'm old. I don't know, maybe I will. Hey, old lady Bethany, if you're watching this, um, hope you're doing good. <laughs> hope you're doing good. Hope it's the summer where you are and that you're very you're thriving in your summer self. Um, I don't know what's happening, but anyways, um, anyways, <laughs> about the break, that's where, that's where we left off, so, um, I'm ready to get back into filming stuff again, but like I was saying, we don't have anything really exciting planned coming up travel-wise, we're just hanging out around the house, doing school, and our regular normal things, um, so, I probably am gonna vlog that. <laughs> like that's probably what our next vlog is gonna be is maybe even um, a sleepover because for the next two nights Bob's is gonna be out of town um, but I don't know if you have ideas for vlogs that you would like to see if you are feeling inspired please let us know because I'm not feeling super inspired with ideas and I don't have any any travel plans which is usually my go-to for when I don't have ideas is like we just go somewhere um, some places that we have memberships to that we can go to are the sea life aquarium in grapevine I, we vlogged there for my birthday we have the girls and I have a membership there that where we can go there any day except Saturday so we could do that. We could go to the zoo if it gets a little warmer. Today is actually kind of nice. It's like I'm it's belly. Today it's like 65. Um, what other? I feel like we have another membership somewhere. Oh, Six Flags. It's too cold for Six Flags right now, though. So Allah's been selling Girl Scout cookies. They did that yesterday. They went on a little cookie selling run. Um, What are you doing? I'm trying to do a sticker pack on you. A sticker pack? Don't do a sticker pack on me. Yesterday, they went to go see the migration movie. I'd actually already taken the girls to see it once and they loved it. We're big fans of going to the matinee. Because, yeah. and then bringing in our own snacks. <laughs> Pro tip. Um, Mommy, I got it on your foot. On my butt. Oh my gosh. Um, so they did that yesterday and I actually went and got a massage for the first time in at least two years. And I haven't got one since we moved here. Um, I think my last one was in Arkansas and I don't even remember when that one was. So it's been a long time. It was so nice. It was, it was very relaxing and real loosey and goosey and nice. I'm trying to See my creation. I can see your good face. Yeah, this is I think this is my favorite one that I've done so far. This Tiana one. Yes. I really like the colors and like how the swamp is looks in the background. Creation. Your Yeah. So anyway. Oops, that wasn't supposed to be that color, but that's okay. Today we have Girl Scouts at 6. Bob's usually meets us there. I usually meet him there and then I'll drop the girls off and head back home and he usually stays. But since he's got a flight out to Houston, it will be me. But also, excuse you. <laughs> also the library has having a craft day where you can make your own instruments. Okay, here's I don't know the what map. Kind of, that is the map. The map is all At 4.30. I'm gonna leave it about 45 minutes, but we all have clothes on already, so that's always a, a win. Belle has play clothes on on top of her regular clothes, so. And this, and who's the winner? Who is the winner? Um, 
Me? I'm supposed to be in the winter? Yes. Aww. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a boing boing here. There's a boing boing here. And boing boing there. Here, boing here. Boing everywhere. Boing boing. Oh, McDonald had a farm. that getting outside more would help me. Walking outside is really helpful for me, but it's been so cold and it's been really hard for me to motivate myself to get out there. Just haven't done it yet. Been doing a lot of stretching inside, but I know that once I start getting outside and getting into that walking routine like I was talking about, it takes a lot for me to get started, but once I get started, it'll be, I know my body will feel so much better and will thank me, but you know, this is where we are right now. It is what it is. Let's test it. No, no, it's not, it's not, it's not. It's not. It's in the dark room. It's 14. A lot of the colors go on kind of streaky at first. A lot of the lighter colors especially. Even some of the darker ones like that dark, the dark purple and the black. When I'm pretty streaky and I'm going through and doing second coats. So if they still look streaky right now, I probably just haven't gotten around to fixing it. This color right here, let me people see how sturdy it is. It's a really dark purple. No, that's it. Then about you, you're just gonna get oh there you go. There you go streaking out. You have to wait for it to dry or it'll just keep smearing itself over. I say is I get back over it before it's dry. Don't feel better. Oh, I think I started to say it earlier, but didn't. We've been, so a lot of, we've been doing a lot of indoor activities, a lot of board games, which are interesting with a three-year-old trying to teach other rules, um, and movies. And recently I watched, I think for the first time since I was like a kid, um, Mulan, just like the original cartoon Mulan. <sighs> Fun. She has officially, and I don't, I don't say this lightly, but Little Mermaid is and will always be my favorite Disney movie. And Ariel will always hold a special place in my heart, but Mulan. She is the I-T-G-I-R-L. You know she is that girl. Mulan is it. Mulan is the one. She, oh my gosh, okay, I used to like, yeah, okay, cool. She, like, she saved all of China. Like, that's, that's really cool that she did that and she, she was able to go and do that for her dad, you know, and nobody appreciated it. And then, and then but you know what got me this time around watching it though? Was after she gets hurt and she's been kind of like cast out and is like having like a little pity party. And she's talking to Mushu about, um, and he's like, you didn't save your dad. And she's like, what if I didn't do it to save my dad? What if I did it? to show that I could do something right, or that I could do it like my way or something else. I have goosebumps right now. The self-awareness that Mulan had, early 2000s, I'm gonna look up and see when the movie was made and put on the screen, but then you go and listen to Reflection. Mulan is the one, and she's my favorite princess. And I don't see that ever changing at this point. Anyway, now I gotta go to the, back to Disney World because I don't think I've ever met Mulan like a character meet and greet. I've seen her, seen her definitely like on, in the parades and that kind of thing, but I've got to meet her. I've got to thank her for her service and just give her a hug and tell her how special she is to me. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? But yeah, Mulan. If you guys haven't seen Mulan since in a while, if it's been a while, go watch it. Um, it's it's a good one. It's it's got great music, as most Disney movies. It's got some bangers. Um, 
But let's get down to business to defeat the Hun song. I mean, talk about motivation. I think Bob used to listen to that before he got, he would study his, uh, I think it was organic chemistry. That was his little jam that they listened to. Anyway, it's a good one. And Mushu is really funny. And it's just, it's a great girl power table. And it really got me. It really got me. <laughs> you can't tell. Um, I have to tell myself, I have to be like, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna find all the 12s, like, in this little section, and then we're gonna call it because I need to go make those PB and J's. It's just, and I told Bobby, <laughs> I told y'all earlier that uh, this is my fourth one, and it's not my fourth one ever. I've done, I got really into these during the pandemic. Um, but all my other ones I threw away and these I finally have the space where I can hang them up So I put them in my she shed and you'll see the walls are getting quite covered in there um, You know I showed Bob when he came home. I was like showing him all the things and all he was like, <laughs> was like I already ordered one more to put there. But this is gonna be the last one For a while like, They're so fun and I know that once once the summer comes I'll chill out a little bit though since we're on our budget, they do they vary in price. I think this one was like $17 I got on Amazon. Um, it's probably the most expensive one. I think the Mickey Mouse one I had was like 11 I can't remember exactly. And everything on Amazon varies in price, but they're not super expensive for the joy that they bring me, you know? I think. But what am I gonna, I'm running out of space. I'm gonna have to start throwing them away. Or just take a break, like I said I would, I suppose. Well, this is just so soothing. Is it relaxing for you? <laughs> Watching it, or no, not really. I think you should try it. If you've never done it before, I think you should order one. If you're looking for a new hobby. You have a little time. Is that all the 12s with this one I'm gonna stop? If you do decide that you want to check out a paint by number situation, this is what you get. You get the paints, the little canvas, and then this is like a paper kind of map with all the numbers on it because sometimes they're so close together that numbers might get like painted over a little bit and you're like, eh, is that a seven or a two? Like, so this kind of helps you to have something to go back to and then they, Bella's giving it a little love that they have this. Um, to give you kind of like a picture in color of what it's going to look like when you're done. So if you're like, wait, why is there a blue over there? It's like, oh, okay, I see it now. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for giving me some content to edit and get back on my YouTube game. Um, like I said, if you have any ideas for vlogs that you want to see, especially vlogs that are free to film because we're on our budget, uh, let me know. <laughs> and we would love to do that. Um, but yeah, let me know how your things that are helping you get through uh, these cold months. And I will see you guys really soon in another video. Bye.